I love my Doberman Arlo. He's about a year and a half now, but man, do I remember what it was like bringing home a new Doberman puppy and just being completely unprepared. He's a good boy. You're a good boy. Now what? <sighs> yeah, I remember what that was like. Really scary stuff when you're just completely unprepared for what you're getting into. All right, well, let's try to get squared away today, shall we, guys? Look, today's video is about the 13 must-have things that you need to have on hand before bringing home any new Doberman puppy. A puppy, in general, is a lot of work, and a Doberman puppy is even more work than many other breeds, and it's really important that you have these things on hand. All 13 of these things are incredibly important. So today, we're going to get you squared away so that you can focus on the other things you need to worry about on your first day with your new puppy, and you're not in some mad dash or mad scramble to pick up some last minute things that you forgot. So let's get straight to our list of must haves for day one with your Doberman puppy. And up first, of course, dog food. Now you're gonna want the exact same dog food that your Doberman pup is already used to having from the breeder. So you're gonna wanna ask the breeder what they're feeding them and get that same food. Um, and then over about the course of the next week, you can transition them to whatever kibble or dry food or whatever you wanna feed them um, slowly. Your dog is going to have enough stress on their system already coming to a new home. You don't need them to have additional stress because they're trying to adapt to a new type of food. So you're going to want to start off with what they're used to, slowly transitioning smaller and smaller portions of their old food and bigger and bigger portions of the new food you're switching them to over the course of about a week until they're fully transitioned. Now, what type of uh, kibble or dry food or whatever that you pick to feed the dog is completely up to you. I really like Purina Pro Plan Focus. Um, the chicken and rice formula for large breeds, Dorman's large breed, and um, uh, puppy version specifically. I like them for a couple reasons. One is there was an FDA uh, study not long ago that linked uh, certain foods to the development of DCM, a heart condition, in dogs. This food was not on that list even one time. Um, also, a lot of grain-free foods were on that list, and this food has grains in it. It's also been around for a long time. It's really trusted by uh, show dog owners, by breeders of Dorman's. Um, also, it's, it passes WSAVA guidelines for the quality of the food, which is really hard to do in the dog food world. Um, and also, it hasn't had one mandatory recall on the Purina Pro Plan stuff that I've seen uh, from the dog foods ever. And uh, most dog foods have had some sort of mandatory recall, but I haven't seen any for this brand. So that's, these are some of the reasons I trust them. Um, but you can do whatever you want. There's also, if you really want to spoil your dog, give them some really fresh human-grade food. There's something called Ollie, which is a cool service that will customize the food for your dog and the breed, so you can customize it just for Dobermans. I did a video all about the Ollie dog food service. should be popping up in the corner of your screen, but you can also take a look in the description down below. Up next is dog treats. Now, you're not going to need these like exactly right away, but pretty soon, uh, because you don't want to start giving your dog a bunch of dog treats. You know, same reason for the dog food. Uh, switching them to new foods, bombarding their system with too much right away can be a lot to handle. So in the beginning, when you're training them, like on the early first couple days, I would suggest just using some dog food little kibble pieces they're used to as motivation. Um, but after they transition to their new food, they're done kind of trying to handle these new things in their system, then maybe you can introduce some training treats. And I really like these jerky treats for dogs. They're soft, they're chewable, you can easily break them up into little morsels for training. Um, Dobermans seem to love them. They'll do backflips for them. You may have seen my last Doberman, Cooper. He loved, he would do anything for these. He'd stack them on his nose. You'd even stick them in his lips and tell him to stay. He would do whatever he needed to make sure that he got these treats. Um, they're good. The only negative thing I have to say about these treats, honestly, is the container they come in just doesn't seal super well. So you're going to want to like transfer them into maybe like a Ziploc container or your own Tupperware container that seals up a little bit better because otherwise it, they tend to dry out a little bit quick. So make sure they're sealed up so they stay moist. But otherwise, I think these are a great training tool. Next up, get a secure collar with an ID tag that identifies you as the owner. This is really important if the dog gets out. It's a safety thing. You want someone to be able to find out where the dog belongs and who the owner is relatively easy. Also, don't spend a lot of money here, guys. Don't get some super fancy designer collar because you're going to want something thin and light that doesn't really bother a small young puppy. 
but also this means they're gonna outgrow it pretty quick. So um, you're gonna be buying a new collar pretty soon anyway. So don't spend a lot of money here. Something really secure that's not gonna break, but simple, thin and light, and uh, relatively inexpensive. Number four, a thin, light leash. This is another area we're gonna wanna go with something kind of inexpensive, but something that's secure too. Thin and light is important because wearing a leash is already gonna be weird enough for your dog. Um, having a big hefty one that weighs them down is just gonna be counterproductive. So for your young pup, definitely have something thin and light. Um, it makes the transition to leash training just a whole lot easier. Amazon seems to sell some pretty uh, secure ones that seem to be relatively inexpensive, um, but don't spend a lot of money here either. Real quick guys, before we get to some of the other products that you may not have uh, thought of uh, that you definitely need to have on hand, I do wanna mention in the description down below this video, you will see links to my recommended products for Dobermans. Um, so as I go through these, if you want specific exact product recommendations, um, take a look in the description down below and you'll see recommended products, specific ones for each of these categories. Number five is toys. And you're gonna want a lot of different toys. Not just a lot, but different textures, types, different feelings in their mouths, all different things. Uh, because Dobermans are really high drive animals, they're high anxiety animals sometimes, especially when they're away from their owner. So if you plan to leave your dog alone at all, they're definitely gonna wanna have some toys. And even when you're there, you're gonna wanna have some toys for them to let out that anxiety and the extra energy they have. Um, they're gonna go through teething too when they're really young, which is important to have a lot of toys for. So you're gonna want lots of different types of variety of toys. Um, I like to have at least one plush toy, which I think is really important for Dobermans, a nice soft one. You gotta be careful though, they can pull them apart sometimes, rip out the stuffing and swallow the pieces, which can be dangerous. So if you give a plush toy to your dog, make sure you're hovering a little bit. But I think they are really good and they are really comforting for a young Doberman pup. They are used to being in a gaggle with all their brothers and sisters and having soft bodies all around them. So having a soft toy in there I think is really good. Sometimes you'll see him even sucking on the soft toy like a pacifier, um, which is pretty cute for a puppy. But um, if you want uh, toy recommendations, I'm working on a really cool Doberman toy video that is, I'm having my Doberman Arlo test just a ton of toys, and I'm gonna go over which ones are the best and I'm compiling that all into one video for you to check out. When that video is ready, I'm definitely gonna link to it down below in the description of this video. So when you're watching this some point in the future, take a look down below in the description to see if that video is released yet. I will definitely link to it down there. Number six, food and water bowls. Now it's up to you, but I like to keep it really simple. I like just good set of stainless steel bowls. Stainless steel I think is important for Dobermans because they like to really rub the bottom of their chin when they eat a lot on the bottom of their bowl. They just rub it, rub it while they're eating. And Dobermans have really sensitive skin, so a lot of times you'll get little pimples and little red marks and little bumps on the bottom of the chin that are kind of painful for the dog. And stainless steel seems to cause these the least. Now some Dobermans, will still be sensitive to stainless steel even, then you might have to try plastic or porcelain. But stainless steel seems to be, in a broad sense, one of the safer ones as far as from this issue with Dobermans. Um, also, stainless lasts forever, it's usually dishwasher safe, which is nice. And if you want to get a slow feeder bowl, that's an option as well to kind of slow down your dog's eating if you're worried about bloat in your dog. Number seven, a DNA health test kit. Oh, I know you guys knew I was gonna say this. I am such a fanatic about health with Dobermans that I'm always talking about the importance of getting your dog tested. I did test my dog Arlo. That video should be popping up in the corner of your screen, but I'll also link to it down below um, with a DNA health test kit. It could tell you a lot about what's the inner workings of your puppy. Really good stuff to know right in the beginning. Very important things that you need to send to your vet so they know what to watch out for. Um, so. Definitely consider getting your dog off on the right foot and getting them DNA health tested from the very beginning. And check out that video in the description if you want uh, just kind of a real good step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Next up, definitely get a crate with a divider and a nice soft plush bed in there as well. I would really recommend wrapping that bed, whatever it is, with a blanket of some sort. Your doberman puppy is gonna destroy it probably pretty quick. Also get it dirty really easily and having a cheap and expensive blanket in there you can just replace is a whole lot easier than replacing potentially a little bit more pricey uh, plush bed. Also, uh, something that is full size I really like because then you don't have to buy another crate later and something with an adjustable partition in the middle is incredibly, incredibly important during potty training overnight. So you're gonna want that adjustable partition in there. Um, that way it can be the right size for the Doberman puppy and as your dog grows, you can just move the partition back further and further. Um, that'll make potty training so much easier. I really like this crate here that you're seeing on your screen. The only thing I don't like about it is it has a little wire frame to it and it's not solid walls and Dobermans definitely like a den feeling so they like all the walls covered so I just throw a blanket over it myself covers up three of the four sides and then you're pretty much good to go that partition in the middle I like to sometimes cover that up I, I have like a thin rubber mat material I put over there and zip tie it to it and that way it makes it like a solid wall you can adjust if anybody out there knows 
of a full-size crate that can hold a Doberman that's solid walls on three of the four sides and the partition is solid, please let me know because it might be a better recommendation. But for now, this is the best price that I've seen and the best option that can also just grow with the dog. It's also portable, so it folds down, which is really, really nice. Number nine, you're gonna want a bed, and a definitely an inexpensive bed, separate from what's in the crate. This is gonna be something for kind of their safe spot in the common area. Your Doberman puppy is gonna wanna be near you most of the time during the day. Only at night would you maybe put them in the crate, but during the day, you want a nice safe spot, maybe in the living room or somewhere that's kind of central to the family, but still off to the side a little bit. And if they have a nice plush bed in that area, it kind of becomes their own makes it soft and comfortable, but you do want inexpensive because I guarantee your dog's gonna tear a hole in it probably pretty early on. Again, might wanna wrap it in a blanket, helps it last a little bit longer, makes it a little bit easier to clean, but a cheap inexpensive bed for the common areas and the safe spot for your puppy is really important. Number 10, definitely get a portable puppy pen of some sort. These are incredibly useful if you go to a family's house or you go camping or you go somewhere else, you got this little pen you can just erect up and, and make it a safe spot for your dog. But the best thing about it, I think, is you can also use it in your house. That safe spot I talked about, that's hopefully in your common area for like daytime naps, but maybe a little bit off to the side. You want some way to keep them contained in there if you need to, and be able to adjust it to the right size, especially when they're potty training. A little bit smaller will help reduce the chances of accidents. So um, I like this little uh, inexpensive puppy pen. It's a pretty stout little thing, uh, which is nice. So it holds up. Also, you can just put that cheap and expensive bed I talked to you about on the last item in there, and you've created a nice, nice safe space away from other animals or kids or whatever else off to the side in your common area. Number 11, you're gonna need some puppy shampoo and something extremely gentle. And I know puppy shampoo, you might think, oh, I don't need this right away. You really do. Doberman puppies come really dirty from the breeder usually. I don't care if this is a world-class breeder with, and you spend $10,000 on your puppy, um, your puppy's gonna be dirty. Now, unless you actually watched the breeder give your dog a bath before they hand it to you, that might be a little bit different. But otherwise, they're gonna get dirty within 10 minutes of hanging out with their siblings. Um, so it's important to have a shampoo ready to go for early on when you first get that puppy home. Something really easy on the skin, Dobermans have really sensitive skin, and puppies even more so. Really sensitive, an oatmeal shampoo, something like that. Even consider diluting it down using a very small amount of it. Room temperature water when you wash a dog using only the pads of your fingers to work it in, not your nails. Um, and just very, very gentle. Rinse it out really good when you're done too. Rinse it multiple, multiple, multiple times. Make sure every last little bit is out of their coat. Again, they're really sensitive, but it's good to have the shampoo on hand right from the start. Number 12, dog doorbells. This is great for potty training, and if you have this there day one when your puppy comes home, you can already start getting them used to it right out of the gate, and it's gonna make it just so much easier. They have this new environment, this house, and they have this new way now of going to the bathroom. Both of them at the same time really works, help speed up your training with the dog. So you can hang these bells from your door handle, the dog can smack it on their way out. It does a little jingle. Um, you can do that every time, and then eventually the dog will learn to smack it themselves when they have to go to the bathroom. A great option, especially if you don't have a dog door and you don't plan to, so the dog's gonna need to alert you somehow down the road when they have to go to the bathroom. Number 13, accident cleanup spray. Incredibly, incredibly important, especially in enzyme-destroying formula. Um, this is really important. You're gonna have accidents no matter how careful you are. Um, early on when you're potty training. And the thing about Dobermans and a lot of puppies in general really is just when they have an accident in the house, they're gonna smell that later when they're sniffing around the house and that's gonna encourage them to go again in the same spot. So you're gonna wanna destroy that smell and a, one way to do that really well is to get just a formula like this. I use Nature's Miracle uh, and something that has like this, that has an enzyme destroying formula uh, so that it breaks down those enzymes. They won't be able to get the smell anymore. Um, it just helps make potty training so much better. I really like this stuff too because it also has a stain remover in it as well. Um, seems to be pretty gentle. Hasn't destroyed anything in my house yet that I've sprayed it on. Um, so, but this is, you gotta have this stuff on hand. Oh, and paper towels. This stuff with paper towels must have. Okay, let's do a little summary here, guys, and give you the actual checklist to go off of while you're getting stuff ready for your dorm puppy. Remember, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna wanna get a dog food, both the old dog food that your breeder was using plus the new dog food you wanna transition your dog to dog treats, a secure collar with ID tag to identify the dog. Um, you're gonna need a thin and light leash of some kind to help get them used to wearing a leash, something kind of inexpensive because they're gonna outgrow it pretty quick and probably chew on it and destroy it pretty quick. Um, toys, many different types of textures of toys, uh, food and water bowls for sure, a DNA health test kit, incredibly important in my opinion. You're gonna wanna give the results of that to your vet, by the way. 
Um, a crate with a divider that's adjustable and a plush bed for them. Uh, you're going to need a bed that's inexpensive and separate from the crate that you can put out in the living room or somewhere central in the family for them to kind of be near the family while they're sleeping. Uh, a portable puppy pen of some type. Extremely gentle shampoo because you're going to want to give them that bath early on. And don't forget, they got that sensitive skin. Uh, dog doorbells to, so they can alert you on the way out if you need them. Uh, and accident cleanup spray with paper towels and a whole lot of them. These are incredibly important to have. If you have this list dialed in, you'll be off to a great start. Now, if you want specific recommendations for the items I listed here, down below in the description of basically every video I do, or most of them, you'll find links to the recommended products pages on my website, which I'll also link to in this video. If you just go to DobermanPlanet.com, you'll also see it up in there in the menu bar. You click on that, you'll see all the recommended products that I keep a running list of for Dobermans. That works really well for Dobermans. This is a unique breed, and not everything works great for our dogs. Um, so anything I find that seems to work really well or that is better than a previous item I'd recommended, I always update that list and keep it going. And you'll find on that list also, you guessed it, a new puppy shopping list. You go there, you'll find specific links to recommendations. Sometimes I'll have an Amazon link on there. Sometimes it'll be like a Chewy.com link, kind of wherever I seem to see the best deal and kind of uh, the best place to get it from. Um, so I will have those links there, easily accessible for you as well. Good luck with your Doberman puppy, guys. Please hang in there. It can be tough at times, I know it, but you know what? I'll be here to help you all along the way. Just go over to YouTube, check out Doberman Planet, look through all the videos I have and find one that helps you. And you know what? Even if there isn't a video that I've done yet, that doesn't exactly address what issue you're having, leave a comment on some of my newest videos. I read all those comments, and I actually make lists from those comments on videos that you guys wanna see and things that I can help you out with. So if you need help and you're not seeing it on my channel, make a comment and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please look down below at the recommended products pages on my site, um, especially the new puppy shopping list. I think that list has gotten really well refined over the years, and now we're kinda just left with the best of the best stuff for the Doberman breed specifically. That list should be really helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon. Uh, if you do those things, then we'll hang out again. What do you think? Same time next week? Sounds good to me. See you then. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy.